And all right, let's see. Um, it's been a while, technically. I haven't played this game for a bit because I was sick. Uh, but off stream, I think, yeah, I basically upgrade all the weapons I've had, you know, up to this point. There's still one weapon missing, I guess, but we'll see how to get that, you know, pretty soon. But yeah, upgraded everything. It was kind of a, well, kind of a trial, I guess. Because uh, the main thing was getting a meal to spawn at a certain point, you know. I believe we still need to talk to him. Let's see. Uh, getting a Mewtwo to spawn like over here and then showing his secret inventory after you beat the game in order to buy all the rare materials. I don't know if you heard that. There was something crashed outside. Uh, don't worry about it. Anyway. Let's see. But yeah, getting all the rare materials, upgrade all the weapons. I leveled up a little bit as well. There's a good farming spot where you fight the, the machine rabbit thing, you know, that gives you a lot of experience. Especially if you use 9S because he does proportional HP damage. And let's see... I don't know, I'm kind of wandering around. I believe I know... Okay, well, what we're gonna do is uh, go fight the secret boss. Or at least, you know, start the, the quest to fight the secret boss, I guess. I don't know if it's like an actual quest, but, you know, like a quest you see in a log. But in order to do so, I believe, you know, especially since I use chapter select, you need to talk to Emil first. Which I'm just trying to find him. And, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I think I also got... Oh, got Emil's fishing info. This random stuff. I also got this. I didn't open it yet, but this is what you get after getting the DLC ending. You know, the, the one where the dolls are being destroyed and everything. So I just open it up. I assume you get a reward? A record. Okay, I don't know what that means. Um, I've been wondering for ages why I was born. I do everything wrong. My life has no value. I've lost all that is dear to me. My existence is meaningless. And yet sometimes I feel an excruciating sadness of being alone. Maybe I just needed someone to listen to me. If you wish to see my memories again, come to the area below the amusement park. Thanks for thanks for listening to my story. The attachment is just something? Is it like something we can read or something? That's what it seems like. Uh, no? Doesn't look like it. Nothing new here. Hmm. Nothing new there. Is it like an item? It's a key item or something? I got a bunch of dye though. Uh, oh, this. Adds new music to the jukebox. Contains dreamlike music regarding the memories of Play-Doh uh, 1728. Okay. Just m new music, I guess. DLC music. Some of the meal bullets active. Do 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 uh, Let's see. Again, I'm just trying to find a meal. I think you need to talk to a meal first when you go to chapter select. I think he's usually around the desert area. When you first spawn in. Oh, there's Emil. Okay, finally. Emil, come back here. I just need to talk to him real quick. Because I think... Because because when I was like trying to get him to spawn in other areas in order to unlock his inventory. These other things or... You know, other stuff he would sell or whatever. I've learned that, you know, every time you go to chapter select and go back here, he's always spawning here. So I think you do have to talk, you have to like talk to him at least once in order to like start like, for him to start like going to other places and probably to activate the, the secret boss area as well, you know. Let's see, in there, I think. Yeah, in here. And then, yeah, okay. Yeah, then you go in here. Amazing. I mean, you wouldn't- I, I feel like he wouldn't think to go in here. Because he said, like, his home was, like, deep, deep, deep underground. And, I mean, you take an elevator to go deep, deep underground. But, you know, you gotta find the elevator in the first place. So, I wouldn't think to find this elevator. I would think just to try to go down, like, in the pit. But, you know, that's not the lowest point. Here you go. 
I, uh, I didn't explore this area th uh, thoroughly. I saw a little bit of it when it was off screen. Usually there's a bunch of enemies here. Yeah, like a bunch of enemies. So we'll probably have to fight them to get through. Come on, hack! Good old hacking. Hacking's OP, by the way. <laughs> just very OP. You just do proportional damage, so... It's always just guaranteed damage. Yeah, and I don't have the auto pickup item anymore because I kind of don't need it, you know? I'm kind of like full, you know, on items and everything. I don't need items anymore. And some treasures. Silver ore. Figure that out, but I don't really need materials anymore. I just, I already upgraded all my weapons, so there's no need. Um, I saw there's two ways to go. Yeah, there's this way over here. I guess I should pick up just in case. I don't know. It's just nothing. It's just in case like a secret item I should pick up or something. Hmm. Hmm. Might as well repair. Glory to mankind. Jinru ni eko are, I think, in Japanese. Do 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 do. Well, I could like stealth hack, you know, remote control. Remote control this one, and then try to get this one. I think this one's the enhanced version of those like uh, sword spiders, I guess, which would be useful in the DLC Colosseum, I guess. Well, there's still like a special rank I haven't beaten yet, but I don't think I'm- I'm probably not gonna do the special ranks. Those seem like way- I mean, they're- those are just meant to be near impossible. Those are for real, hardcore, you know, masochists. I don't think I'm gonna do those. I'll probably do, um, well, let's see. I mean, I'm, the- I, the- um, the plan is to do the secret boss. Um, I probably, eh, I, I, I'm, I wasn't sure, but I'll probably do the joke, the joke endings as well. It's actually pretty slow. I, pro I could probably kill these guys faster in my normal form. Blame. Yeah, the joke endings. It might be, might be a little bit tedious, but I guess it's a bit faster if I use chapter select. I guess it's like a little neat. Just do the all the little dumb little endings, silly little endings. They don't really amount to much. I assume maybe well, maybe there's like one ending that's kind of like very special, has like a lot of lore implications. Maybe I don't know. I'll probably do that after. I beat the secret boss, well, assuming I can beat the secret boss. I know who the secret boss is. There's, well, you, we'll see. Um, but uh, I don't. I haven't watched any videos or anything, so I don't know what the moveset is kind of like at all. And I don't know how hard it is. I imagine it's pretty hard. There's a secret boss and everything, so... I'm not sure how long it'll take. Look at that. Yeah. over here. Go down this way. I always aim the hacking incorrectly. Aim. I just end up aiming at the machine that's gonna die anyway. I guess, what's the point here? Oh, there's, well, there's a chest. What is it? Eh, just materials. 
Actually, I see something else. What's over here? Oh, yeah, okay. It's a good thing I have 9S because only he can open these chests. Roger Gustav reports so Yeah, okay. So some of the intelligence in information is in this area as well. Uh, let's see. Number seven, right? So January 3rd, 2045, it has been decided that the United Nations will launch a full-scale investigation and infiltration operation in order to determine the cause of the massive, uh, massive Legion outbreak in the Tokyo area. Details regarding the progress of Project Gestalt are to be shared as part of this effort, though we will insist that any information which leaves the country must first be thoroughly verified by our committee. In particular, inform information regarding relapses, name tentative, must be kept in the strictest confidence. Relapses. Okay. I mean, I guess that's again more illusions that something is going wrong, you know, or illusions or is that the right word? More like, you know, hints, I guess. Something's going wrong with the Project Estelle. And kicked off the events of this game as well, I imagine. Things went wrong. As they always do. There's a big guy here. I'll just hack you. Yay. Level up. Well, I guess I should just kill. Well, yeah, I should have killed. Oh, uh oh, what are these? <laughs> I fell. No. Okay. Well, I kind of got scared off by those weird red blinking things. I can't get up anymore. Damn it. There could have been like another chest or something that I could have gotten. I guess we'll get there next time, or get back there next time. I was gonna say uh, we should we should kill these machine brand you know weapons because it gets stronger the more you use them instead of hacking. Another another report. Let's see. I wonder. Well, well actually, yeah. Okay, I was gonna say. I wonder. If that's the last one. <laughs> it is. So yeah, we got all the archives. All right. Which one is this one? No, four. An earlier one. A uh, report has been submitted to the Prime Minister regarding the rampaging weapons incident that occurred at the National Arms Laboratory in June. Though the laboratory's budget and allocated human resources are expected to see significant cuts, a team of staffers will continue to continue massive research under the umbrella of Project Gestalt. Records of human experimentation conducted using MASL are scheduled to be disclosed to concerned parties separately at level 6 classified information. Okay. I think, yeah, if you like put all the pieces together, that's kind of like, you know, this is kind of. This is lore based on the original Nier game. You know? Is what I'm thinking. Because I believe, well, unless I'm wrong, I think the, the original games, uh, they were kind of weird. I don't know if I mentioned it, but like. There were two versions technically. There was like near Gestalt and near Replicant, I think, unless I'm getting the names wrong. But basically, one version had like uh, the main character as a father, you know, trying to save his daughter or something. But um, the other version had like a young brother, you know, a young a younger guy trying to save his sister or whatever, you know. Um, I don't I don't really know the reasons why they did that, but. Because otherwise, the story is basically the same. It's just that the main character is slightly different, or slightly different looking, anyway. But yeah. A lot of references to, like, Gestal and Replicants. I imagine it has something to do with the original Nier. Well. I don't know, well... I don't remember. I believe it was on the Xbox, right? Xbox 360 and P3. 
PS3, I think, or something like that. You know, the original Nier's. I don't know if I'll ever go back t to play them, but maybe. It'd be quite a hassle, you know, to like find the game and try to play it, you know, legit, uh, legitimately. Um, this water looks very chlorinated, you know, it's very clear. Looks like, well, looks like a pool. You fish here. I imagine there's a lot of fish you can get here as well. A lot of like unique fish, maybe. What can we get? We get... This is just what we get normally? You know, it's just a killer fish. That's boring. No, we always get that. Mm. Well, this is a bunch of fish I already have. Oh well. I was hoping for like new unique fish here. I think I've read somewhere because I read like a fishing guide as well, you know? There's like a fishing guide. You can get some unique fish here, but I guess not. I guess they're too rare. I'm not I'm not gonna spend all day, you know, fishing. Anything else? I'm just run wandering around. Quite dark. You just turn on the flashlight. Attack these things. I hate these things. As I've said a hundred million times already. Ow. Damn it. Ah, oh, damn it. Eh. I'll just shoot you. Die. Okay. Oh, well, these enemies are not too hard. They're just level 50. So. I don't know how effective these missiles are. I mean, again, they're just level 50, so. That's why the enemies are so easy to kill. Mm. Oh. Sometimes I. I don't know. I guess because sometimes I press the button without thinking, but I, I'm thinking like... I was gonna say, why is it so dark even though I turned on the flashlight? That's because the flashlight was not on. Hmm. There's two ways to go. There's this elevator. I think... Where is this? Oh no. Uh... I opened this already. I think, yeah, we're back to the beginning-ish. Right? I mean, I think, yeah, I've been here already. A lot of, a lot of dead androids, by the way. A lot of people died here, I guess. Am I going backwards? Uh, well, we can go here again. Yeah, I wanted to explore this a little bit. I missed, like, one spot here. I might as well go over here. And over here. Can I go here yet? Yeah, this is like a bunch of these exploding thing, uh, exploding things. But you guys won't do a lot of damage. At this point, because I'm so... high level. Hmm? Oh, you. Can I use like, is this like better, or...? Maybe I should use the laser. Oh, doesn't matter. It's dead, right? Okay. over here? Just some guys? Yeah. Ow. Okay. Mm, it's just a chest here. That's it. Again, I don't need materials, so it's kind of useless. Let's just go back to where we were. I guess that elevator was just a shortcut to go back up here. Whee! Oh. Oops. <laughs> I guess you can't just belly flop into 
the, the pool. Elevator, so go over here. You're kind of cool, okay? I think, I guess, yeah, those like, uh, those like, I don't know, we call them those like quadruples, qu qu quadrupeds, I guess. The ones that usually like the, the machines kind of like ride like horses. The ones that stand up are kind of cool, okay? I never noticed that they were actually, at least at first, anyway, I, I didn't notice that they were actually the horses, right? The, the machine horses. Or whatever. But they are. And they turn into like weird like ninjas. Do spinning attacks. I don't know if they would, they would be useful in the DLC Coliseum as well. Hmm. A lot of bodies. Is there a save point? I don't know. How about I... Oh, I didn't mean to retrieve actually. Retrieving doesn't do much at this point. Gives you like two thousand bucks, yeah. and a, and a very like short like buff. Oh, let's just repair. Oh, everything's a lot brighter for some reason, or is that my imagination? Oh, okay. Here we go. I've never went here before. I assume that's Emil's house. That's like his head. A meal. Hmm. It's his. It's his song. The song he's always singing. You know when he's like rampaging around the world. Huh? He has a. Bunch of boxes. I assume no, oh, it's like a fridge. I mean, not. Maybe it's just a drawer. It's just a bunch of junk, I guess. There's a bunch of masks here. Can I take a mask? Hmm. Should I not steal? This is the only thing I can interact with here, so I imagine that's what you need to do. I'm gonna take a mask. Yes. It's mine. Can I look at it? The key item, maybe? Uh, Amuse mask. Mask bearing Amuse likeness. Oh, okay. I can just put it on, but, you know. I was expecting, well, I mean, it's just a mask. I was expecting, like, the whole, you know, the whole thing. Like, uh, just a giant head. But I guess it's not that kind of a mask. Is that it? Just pick up his mask and that's it. Go home. Nice flowers here. A lot of dead bodies here though. Okay, I think I need I, I think I know what to do next though. I think you need to go back and talk to Emil with your Emil mask. Oh, I hear him. Where are you? Down there. Eh. Out of the way, I'm talking to Emil. Uh... Shoot the thing. Okay. 
You don't say as I have the stolen item right here. I guess you go over here. To where those all those dead androids are. Again, I mean that's a that's a big tell that you're gonna die here. So let's see. Well, I we should probably get some help in that case. You help me out a little bit, even though you'll probably just die in five seconds. Mm hmm, mm hmm, not. What's gonna happen? I don't know. Probably like put in some buffs. Uh, do that, even though it's like 30 seconds. I don't know, the buffs just, just last 30 seconds. You really have to like keep putting putting them back on if you want them want actual use out of it. Well, I thought I was gonna fight right there, but maybe not. Oh, oh, there's something over here. Okay. Again, good thing we have wear 9s. Well, maybe it's like we don't we can only be 9s to like unlock this thing. I don't know. But before we open it, again I want to like buff up again. Let's see. Nice fans. On defenses. Might as well put that on. Why not? Make sure it's on healing. Okay. What's in here? Mio's head. Okay. I have his head. Um. I think. Well, actually, isn't that. I think I know what this is. Like, no, it's not, okay, I was like, is it, is it a weapon? No, okay, no, not. Uh, no, it's, uh, something else. No, it's just his head. Okay, his full head. Okay, his full head. Amazing. There you go. I'm a meal. Oh, time to leave. All right? Uh oh. Okay, well. A meal. There you go. Level 99. Oi. Oi. best not to die. I mean, he's level 99, so I imagine you hit once, you're dead. Mostly just shooting him. Ow! Okay, well, it's a one shot, so that's good at least. It's just spinning. Hmm. Spin the wind? Do a laser again? Uh oh. Uh oh. Can I shoot these things? I don't think I can. Ow. At least I don't die in one hit. Okay, I'll hack him. Oh. Oh. I was, gonna, I was gonna hack him. I guess not. Well, at least I don't die in one hit. At least so far.
How do I dodge all- I can't- There's too many projectiles. Where is he? I'm just- <laughs> I'm just healing. Try hacking him. Oh, there, well, he, he I, it's not so easy to hack him actually. It takes so long. Ah. Finally, I guess gotta like spam it a little bit. Gets the meter up. Oh, stuck in there. That's a lot of damage. Freaking the pop up kind of block a lot of the text there. But I guess he said, you know, well, I lost. You can use the room or whatever, however you like. That's not what I wanted to do. Pick it up. A mule head, okay. And that's a weapon. Because I was thinking, like, how... That's the last weapon I was missing. I was saying, how do I get that? I was saying, yeah, that's how you get it. Um, are you dead? And I kind of like, you know, you kind of exploded a little bit. You seem fine for the most part. It says, Judgment Day, Pain. And this flag. And push you around, I guess. What does that say? Warning. Okay. Eh. Oh. Now it's my home. I'm a meal. You're not a meal. I am. I listen to this music all day. Amazing. Let's see. Upgrade. Yeah, upgrade the mule heads. A blam. Badam. Ram, amazing. Got the achievement as well. Okay. He said, uh, "Didn't it say insanity?" I wonder what that means. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Go back to resistance camp real quick. I kind of want to go to. Well, let's see. I don't know what insanity means, but I want to get like a good camera view. You know, I don't want to get like the two D view. It's kind of like zoomed out. Over here, equip the heads and then go insane and murder everyone. Uh, swing these weapons to hear a muse voice. Okay, well, it's just a muse voice. I thought it was going to be like, you know, you just go berserk or something. No. No. I don't hear Mio's voice. Is it because I'm using 9 or something? Or maybe you have to hit stuff. You probably have to hit someone. Let's see. I'll use... This moose? No. Well, I mean, I well. eh. I've killed so many mooses, I'm, I feel too guilty. I can't kill another one, I'll just kill you instead. Okay. Alright. 
So that's what it is. Okay, it's just sound effects. Amazing. Alright. I guess, yeah, since we have all the upgraded weapons. Honestly, I don't know. Like, who tells you? You know, like, I've only learned this because someone told me, but like, how do you know that you're supposed to upgrade all the weapons in order to unlock the final secret boss? I have no idea. But since we do, we can now fight the secret boss. Um. Okay, let's see. What are we gonna do? Uh, we're gonna fight the secret boss. I, I think I know where the secret boss is. So actually, we've been there before. Uh, but first, I wanna like, well, I mean, it doesn't really matter too much, but I kind of want to beat the circuit boss as 2B. Because why not? 2B, I don't know. It's kind of unfortunate that she died around the second half of the game, so maybe I just want to just use her, you know? Because she doesn't get much of the spotlight later on. Might as well use her near like the final moments of the game, you know? Is my reasoning, even though it doesn't really matter too much. I wonder if we should, well, let's see. Like, I wonder if she says anything during the actual boss fight. It'd be nice to get some dialogue, and that's why I'm using uh, 9S and 2B together instead of just 9S alone, because they probably just say nothing, you know, it's like dot dot dot. But then again, they might not say anything at all. I don't know. Either way. Like, you, probably could, you could probably fight the super boss as A2 as well. I wonder if she says anything. Do you fight Emil as her? Hmm. Um, so we go back... I guess go back here. Go back to B. <laughs> you know, 2B is probably the hardest character to use, actually. To fight the secret boss. Because uh, 9S, he has, like, hacking. A2 has berserk mode, which you can abuse if you have the right chips. But 2B is just, you know, the only thing she has compared to, like, A2 is just this. This combo. Where you can hold the, the light attack to do, like, a weird spin attack. Or I guess it depends on the weapon, but... Otherwise, it doesn't do much. Hmm. I wonder which... Well, I'll probably use her, like, you know... Well, maybe not that one. I'll switch it up. Here's the weapons to... Virtuous Contract in this one. Virtuous Treaty on that one. I assume because Holy Blessing uh, gives you full, like, more damage once you're full health. Which, actually, you are most of the time if, you're, if you spam your healing items. Which I will, probably. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're ready. I don't have the best plug-in. I mean, you probably could farm like the best optimal plug-in chip setup, but that's kind of tedious, so I, I'm not doing that. I just have like a lot of HP, basically. Just stack a bunch, a mu as much max HP as I can. Hmm. Oh. oh, there's this though. What's this? Is this like a new thing, actually? Or maybe that yeah, maybe that's where we need to go. Okay. I was wondering, like, I know where the secret boss is, but like how do you activate it? I actually have no idea. So maybe we need to go there first. Uh well, we'll just walk, whatever. I was thinking like fast travel. Probably this fast travel is faster, but also wanna turn that off. You know, in fact, well, I'll we'll just change the weapon set. Because I was using this kind of like weapon set because uh, it was like A2's whole thing. Engine blade. Oh, yeah, show, so show that off as well, maybe. There are some like interesting things you do with the, with the weapons, or, or rather the weapons themselves are special. They do special things. Um... Well, maybe I should show that off. But first, let's put on this and put on the Virtuous Treaty. So that's probably the weapons I'll use in the actual thing. But I'll show off, I guess. Let's see. I have never seen it myself as well, so I want to see like this and I believe it was like this one. 
So these both of these weapons are kind of like references to other games, actually. The Engine Blade, I believe, is a reference to Final Fantasy. Uh, one of the new ones. Okay, let's see. Does it say? It says, uh, Stun Up and also Shift Avoid changes damage values in your invading maneuver. Yeah. And the Cypress Stick is like a, a Dragon Quest reference, I believe. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Okay, there you are. I already... I was thinking, like, when you do a perfect dodge, that's when it, you know, shows you the special thing, but actually it's like this. Okay. Hmm. Okay, the perfect dodge is the same. I was, I was thinking the perfect dodge is what would be different. I guess not. It's just a normal dash. No, it changes your values. Oh, there you go. Okay. That's how, that's what it does. What about the super stick? What does it look like? I guess it did change a little bit. We didn't see much of it though. Oh, okay, well. We'll just... Just go. Go, go, go. I think we need to head near the, uh... Hmm. The forest castle, I think? And just this way? I feel like the yeah the super stick should should uh, do something. It doesn't look like it does. Maybe it's being overridden by the engine blade. Yeah, it should change damage levels and treasure chests. Okay, it changes the treasure chests as well. Uh, okay, well, how, what if what if I just do like super? No, eh, eh, eh. Super stick over here. Nope, that's what I want to do over there. And then change this to something else. Oh, I don't know. A meal heads. Okay. So it changes the damage values like that. I, again, I think it's Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest, you know, reference. So it does kind of remind me of uh, Maple Story, actually. The damage numbers. Big old cartoony damage numbers like that. Amazing. Amazing. I wonder if the effect stays like that if I'm not equipped with it. I think it's over here, right? Yeah, I see like a little quest icon in the map. Okay. If you don't have the weapon itself, it doesn't do that. It doesn't do the special damage numbers. Okay. Oh, there's a meal. He's not dead, I assume. What's up, Emil? Shut up, 9S. <laughs> I'll talk to Emil. Okay. This is just dialogue. I think, well, I think I've seen this before. It's like a little dialogue you get when you go to the mall. I think the second time, maybe? You get it, and then, you know, 9S promises to be that they'll go shopping one day. You know? Even though they never will, because to be is fated to murder 9S. At least before Yorha in general was destroyed and everything. Okay. Uh, says, yeah. It doesn't say uh, Judgment Day anymore. Here's a quest with Emil. Yeah, talk to you. Oh, hey, yeah. I mean, you just sell materials, which again, I don't need anymore. I give you something. Just, just give away the small recoveries. Ironically, the small recovery is kind of like... They suck because they take up the inventory, you know, the quick menu. So I end up using the wrong healing item if it's in the menu. Okay. 
いらないですよねどういう意味いえ何でもないですお元気でなんだかエミールの様子がおかしいポットすでに追跡マーカーを使用現在は砂漠方面に向かっていることを確認分かった Okay. Do we have some dialogue? I assume, yeah, if you're 9S or you're A2, you'll probably say stuff similar. Interesting that depending on the character you use, they probably have unique dialogue depending on the quest, you know. Or depending on who you talk to, to the quest guy. Probably not just a meal, but like all the other quests as well. If you can do it with either 9S or 2B or A2. I mean, yeah, we go to uh, the desert. Right? It's almost time. Almost time to fight this supposed secret boss that I've been hearing about, you know? I mean, assuming it's like super hard, I probably will just die a whole bunch. Okay, so it's around here. Yeah, and this is where his bunch of his giant heads are. Emil. You know, you didn't say anything last time when we were here, you know? Giant heads. And I guess, yeah, I mean, I think I said this before, but like, now I understand why there's a giant heads here. Because there are like a bunch of other mules. As we've learned. No, I have to fight a giant worm thing again. Evade, just evade, don't get hit, lol. No! In the end, I have to fight. Giant worm things. Uh. Uh, I really, de really depend on the healing items. Sometimes I get hit, I, I don't get damage at all. That's probably my plug-in chips. In fact, I should probably change my plug-in chips. I don't know. Well, it seems like I'm fine as long as I can heal. I have a lot of healing items, so... As long as I don't die, I guess. Or as long as I remember to heal anyway. It's probably like a, a no-hit run of this boss. I assume, I assuming, well, I assume, I assume this is the boss. A bunch of his heads shooting lasers. Doesn't seem so bad so far. As long as I heal, I guess.
Oh. Someone was yelling. I assume a meal? Sound like those explodey guys. Is that one dead? I don't know. Doesn't have a health bar anymore. I have to kill all of these guys? I guess I do. Are you dead yet? Well, I assume so. Okay, another one. Who's yelling? Oh. I, I see them a little bit. There's some like, explodey guys. Get away! Are you part of the battle or just... Came out of nowhere in the desert. Okay, that one has no health ice. Ah. I gotta kill the ones with health bars, I assume. I'm rolling around. And why are the ones that I already defeated? They can still like roll around. That's cheating. pretty chaotic. There's like, you know, it's kind of unfair as well, but I guess, you know, it's but like, there's like multiple enemies at once. How are you supposed to keep track? Die. Remember the heal. Sometimes I just spam the D-pad and Well, the amuse caused their fusion reactors to go out of control, turning the planet into a dead chunk of rock, tumbling through the vast vacuum of uncaring universe. Whoops. Well. Eddy battle. I guess they exploded and killed everyone. Whoops. Maybe I should have done something about that. I was told that was one ending you could have missed. If you let the, the mules self-destruct, then you get an ending you could've, you know, 
could have not have gotten otherwise. But, well, I guess we have to end up doing the battle again, though. It wasn't what I expected. I thought it was going to be more like one-on-one, -on -one, you know? I thought I thought we were going to fight Emil again, but I guess, well, we do fight Emil again. At least Emil's, plural, I guess. And I assume all this... All this is a reference to is again uh, the previous near, and we kind of well. I think I kind of understand even without even without the original game. Uh, you do hear a bit of his backstory from his other quests, you know, where you find the flowers and everything near the mall. Emil was trying to save this world this whole time. Actually, he cloned himself, fought against the machines all by himself for a long, long time. You know, I guess that's what's le that's what's left of his clones. The other clones kind of went crazy, you know, after such a long time. I guess that's what happened. Okay, you gonna self destruct again? Yeah, stop you this time. You, stop! How do I stop it? And I believe when uh, Emil shouted someone's name, Kane, I think. Oh. I guess, can we continue? Just back at the resistance camp, I guess. But yeah, and when Emil shouted Kane, again, that's okay. So much, so much references to the original Nier, but. I don't really get the full story, but I I can like understand the feeling, I guess. He's Emil is one of the I assume the main characters in the original game. A long time has passed since then, you know, and he's still around, so it's been a long time. Been a very, very long time, I guess, for Emil. Ironically, despite sounding like a child. And there you go. That's the final quest, I guess. Emil's finally dead. Or is it- well, can I still shop though? Is there like a meal shop? No, okay, I guess Emil's freaking dead. Um, so no shop for me. There you go. 100% all quests is done. Amazing. Uh, Emil's determination. Replicated and sent to battle again and again, Emil know, knows all too well the, plan the pain of war without end. Unfortunately, no copy is a perfect duplicate, so some Emil's eventually snapped and ran wild. His cherished memories brought him back to his senses, however, well, right before he died. Well, I can't 
can't believe Emil's freaking dead. Um, there's also oh, this is probably the DLC. The area below the amusement park contained a diary of Plato, 1728, the bombing failure machine, spies conflict. After losing a, a close friend, flew into a rage. Destroy everyone. Now he just watches over the world. Okay. That's just the end of that quest as well. All these quests, it seems like, I don't know, any like quests that end on a good note? I don't think so. I think all of them just end on a bad note. Or at the very least, you know, not very happy. Oh well. I guess that's just the theme of the game. Everything just ends and everyone dies. The end. Oh well. <laughs> Near on a matter. Um... What else? What else is there to do? I don't know, I'm just running in circles. 